Okay, start your own business with just $150. That is all you need for that side hustle, according to our next guest. Yeah, Jennifer Marilla is a business mentor and digital marketing coach. Now, she grew her business and company from scratch a decade ago, and she joined us now yeah. with some tips. She says that she wished she knew back then. Welcome to the show. Thank you guys for having me. Okay, so the mm -hmm. amount of work that goes into starting a business <laughs> might be the reason that a lot of people just don't do it, but what's one of the first things that you say that they should do? People get caught up in the, I need to have my logo, I need to have my website, I need to get all my legal <laughs> mm -hmm. stuff in order, and while all those things are important, I would suggest making sure you're solving a problem and you have a viable business. <laughs> and get some clients and get some cash in the uh -huh. door. Okay. So $150, that doesn't even sound possible no. to start a business with that. Okay, for the sake of the conversation, let's right. let's be very specific here. If you're starting a brook and mortar, you're gonna need a lot more money. Yeah. <laughs> but this True. is service-based business. If you're someone who's looking to start something as a little bit of a side hustle, I mean, you could do it with less than $150. Okay, she's, you, so you said first things first, make sure you have a viable business mm -hmm. idea yes. and have some clients. So what are some of those expenses that you can skip out on? Um, you can skip on spending money on a big website logo. You, people think that they need that in yeah. order to create, get the client, but I promise you a client's not gonna work with you because you have a nice website. They're gonna work with you because you're solving a problem. You're fixing a problem that they have. So you wanna make sure that you're actually spending money and keeping track of what you're spending and how you're spending. You can use Canva, it's a free software, um, until you pay for it, and it's like, I think it's like yes. $25 a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's other softwares that you can use to be able to utilize to start the business, but I wouldn't spend money there. I would, again, focus on where you're getting your clients mm -hmm. and how you're getting them. Utilize social media, because social media is obviously it's like the beauty, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's so easy. It's at the, the palm of our hands. It's free. Yeah, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Your favorite price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It free 99. Free. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there a way to get more attention on the social media platforms for your business? Yes. I say this to people all the time. It's, use your unique story to sell what you're doing. Create that brand story. That's it. The, the reason why you do what you do and why you sell what you sell is your unique story. Mm -hmm. People come to me and they're like, the market is so saturated, maybe, and you are uniquely you, and people will come to you based off your story and why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's a vibe. I love that. Okay, so what are some of the regrets that you've had? <laughs> Ooh, Too many. Right. <laughs> How much time we have? That guy in college <laughs> uh, dated for so long. No, Pertaining to business wise. That's <laughs> um, I would say just what I said. I focused so much on the visuals of what the way things had to be versus what ultimately was important is getting the clients, making the money, and seeing that cash flow. Mm -hmm. People get tied up in behind the scenes, what people are gonna think of them. Mm -hmm. I would have invested in someone to support me a lot sooner, yep. um, and I would have just put my blinders on and just stay focused, trying to get those clients. Yeah, and ignore the imposter syndrome. Right, that's so huge. That never goes yeah. away. It'll always be there. It'll always be there. You just okay. do it a lot faster. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, it never goes away, guys. <laughs> like, I but just... in the meantime, though, everyone's trying to come up with the next big oh, yeah. idea, yeah. but how can you really create something that doesn't exist? I love this question. So I think that's twofold. Number one, you can take a look at what people are currently complaining about, right? Is there something that's trending right now in the mm. market and you find that people are like, wow, this actually doesn't work. What if it was better this way? That's the first thing. And the second thing is pay attention to what you use and how you can use it better. Then you can, I mean, you can use reddit.com to do research to see what people are saying. Mm -hmm. okay. I like to go to the product, go right to the reviews, and see the complaints. The comment section. Oh. <laughs> That's the good stuff. <laughs> That's right. the good stuff. That we is love genius. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate and it. And for more business tips, you can check out Jennifer's Instagram page. The information is right there on your screen.